<laughs> I saw your first video where yeah. you guys got your camper yeah. like, demolished. Yeah. And we camped in that spot right behind oh, it. Oh, did really? you? Yeah. Were you there when it took place? Or We were there after you left. Okay. They had not yet cleared up. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. back in Ohio at one of our favorite parks. Yeah, we are back at that park where our RV got destroyed. It's about 11 o'clock. Guys, we had a ball last night. We've been having fun since we've been back it here. It has been us. a great weekend filled with a lot of adventure and fun. Yeah. That sounds scripted, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> I left, we, we did not like our, lock up our bikes last night. I left the bike out With and the, the key is in, in it. it. <laughs> so somebody could have had them a free bike. Whatever. <laughs> With the key. No, that's not, we're not at that type of park. We're at West Branch, I so. Know. But still, they do that yeah. at park still. Oh well. So now we gotta move off to site tomorrow. We're here for another day. We got to move off this site tomorrow, so we about to go and check out other sites that we may want to move to. Hold on, your um, back is not right. Okay. It's okay for now. Okay. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at sites, like I said earlier. Shanti already found a site that she wanted already. Okay. Well, we didn't give that other site a chance. What other site? 31, where we can put our boat. Where are we going to keep our boat at? By the campground? Take it home. Take it home? We may want to ride it for the next two days. We got the paddle boards we, we can try to use. Uh. Of course, we use the paddle boards. Let's at least check out. We're going to go check out one more site. This is what we do. We're not too far from home, so we can still go home during the day. I can still go to work from where we're at, and we can still enjoy the park. We're trying to get the most out of this summer. We took the week, we took two weeks off, and we're back. But you probably won't know that. But we just took off from vlogging. We just took off from. Um, going to parks but these videos come out we got so many videos so with this video you're up to date right now we are getting ready to put together something that we have always been looking at always had an interest on uh, getting them, but uh, we just never were able to at the time. And what we're about to do is we are about to put together some paddle boards that have been sent to us. So the bandits will now be utilizing a new toy for new adventures and new excursions while we're out on the water um everywhere uh the good thing about it is they're blow up so we could pack them up and transport them very easy but it's a simple fact that 
we got them and now we just got to get out there on that beautiful water and start utilizing them so this is the box that they came in it's a sub board and this is the chasing blue you ordered a different board than mine or yeah so which one what, what, what's the next one or the other one hey i was listening to santi talk why does she always got to say everything is so beautiful water or gorgeous this or gorgeous that or, it's just because. fantastic and you use those words you ever notice that because i like to express myself <laughs> <laughs> I saw your first video when yeah. you guys got your camper yeah. like, demolished. Yeah. Um, well, it was already like weak or split. It was rotted out. Yeah. So. And fell on RV. The good thing about it, though, three minutes prior, we just walked out the RV. I was like, I can't believe what happened to their camper. Yep. I was just heartbroken for oh, you. Yeah. Oh Thank God. you. But as you see, we're back here. We didn't let that, you know, ruin it or anything like that. Yeah. We got some new packages in. And we are so excited about these packages. The reason why we're excited about these packages because we've been wanting this can't wait to show you what we got and it's just gonna enhance our adventures at the campgrounds it's gonna allow us to get on the water every at every campground that we go to if they got water and we're looking forward to showing you guys and sharing it Got some paddle boards. Well, the paddle boards were sent to us to try out. By who? Do you remember? So, guys, shout out to Outdoor Masters. They sent us these paddle boards and they are real sturdy. We are looking forward to using these. Um, we plan on taking them out on the water either this evening or tomorrow morning. But we've been wanting paddle boards for, a little, for the longest, but never being able to sit down long enough at one location to get it. So Outdoor Master, they, find, they caught us at a good time and said, hey, you still want them paddle boards? I'm like, sure. So they sent us these paddle boards. We waited long enough to get them, and now we're out. We're going to try them out. And I think this is actually going to enhance our adventure whenever we go somewhere because we don't always have the boat with us and when we go out of town we sometimes when you're at the campground you want to find stuff to do you want to get off the campground and we want to be more we want to do more stuff outdoors like riding our bikes we want to be on the water canoeing and stuff like that that's what camping is about and that's what we want to do so shout out to outdoor masters guys a link will be in the description box and but don't go nowhere we still gotta try we still gotta uh, put these boards to the test we still gotta get out there on the water and see what they're about so we, we're gonna be reviewing these boards so we are putting some lamb chops on the grill what i am learning about camping is they always want you to pay attention to weather and they said that this weekend at west branch was going to rain every day and thus far it has not rained we have prepped we have uh secured everything down we we have uh even what you call it <laughs> had guests thinking oh don't come this is not a good time it's gonna rain and it changed so right now we're we're learning in this area the weather is unpredictable but anyway we're gonna do some lamb chops and I'm gonna make some tzatziki sauce some rice 
and uh, cut up some veggies to go with it. Anyway, bon appetit, y'all. It's not bon appetit time. You say that when you're about to eat. Oh, okay. Says the cooker. Yeah, you say bon appetit when you're about bon to appetit. eat. Bon appetit. Okay, so what are you doing right now? I'm lighting the mosquito. Coil? Coil, yes. Yeah. Those help us a lot, don't they? Yes. Yeah. It's very inexpensive. You can get it at Walmart. Yes. And as you know, these are our new paddle boards. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared. I have not been on it yet. I'm trying to convince myself I will be okay. I think I'm more concerned about... Hey, as long as the insurance paid up, you're going to be fine. <laughs> Whatever. I have a life vest on deck. But I think it's just more so trying something out new that is different. And paddle boarding is different. They said you have to have core, you have to have a, a good core, core muscles, yeah. muscle. And uh -oh. I don't have that. So. See what happens? Whatever. Anyway, you will see us see on those and uh, more to come on the Chasing Blue, you guys. See, the meat is burning, so I have to give me the, the meat is burning. It's burning? Yeah. You left this open. It's called a sear, babe. It's a sear. You left that open. It's okay, here, let me get, let me see the, let me see the fork, babe. Let me it's a sear. Get back. Take the other water. Let's okay. close this for it can stop. It's okay. I'm gonna put it over here so I can do indirect heat. Be all right. There you go. Now you're good, town. Take the meat off the fire. But you know that because you are a cooker, babe. Yes, I am. Yes, I So we have spotted newbies at camping. What do you feel that you can give to newbies that are starting off camping? What would you like to share with them? Um, get you some walkie talkies. Okay, what Communi else? Communication is important when you're camping. Especially when you're backing up. Yes, Yeah. and that's what we didn't do, right? We didn't have walkie talkies and almost hit trees and everything because we didn't have walkie talkies yeah i would also say never when you're a newbie never never ever ever try to park in dark so if you're late coming to a campground and you're a newbie it's best for you to park when you have daylight versus trying to park at night right right you're right on point what about what else do the research on the campground and if your campground does not offer you a full hookup, meaning water, sewer, electric, you need to make sure that you put the water into your holding tank and you don't park. Then later find out you have no water, right? And then you gotta undo everything you just did to go get water. I think that's also a newbie mistake that we have done ourselves. Yes. Now, we like clockwork now. We got a routine down and it works. Shanti don't always go by the routine that I got in place. So, she's getting better and we're, things are going better. <laughs> I don't know what he mean by that, but okay. Make a checklist. And when you make a checklist, follow look, the look, checklist. Look, 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 look. And that's pre Ooh, shit. checklist. Tell me. I might need to go up there and help him. Go help him. Go help him. Yeah. Oh, 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 seasoned person, go help them. Okay. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I'm about to do. As community, as we are in the community, 
of RVing. When you see someone, reach your hand back to go help someone else so that they can be better prepared for this camping community. He's doing a little bit better. He's not gonna go into a ditch, but he was close. And he has his wife there. He's listening to his wife, which is a good thing. And he's doing good. I would also say, when in doubt, get out of the car, which he's doing right now. See, get out and go check he your surroundings. He never did that. So prior to parking, if you're on something that is not even, get out and go check your surroundings. That is what I suggest for the men because the men always, I shouldn't say the men, the driver always rely on the passenger to steer them in when they need to get out of the vehicle and go check out the surroundings. And to me, that is really, really important and critical, right? Yes, and it's so beautiful. And it's so beautiful. <laughs> I just beat you to it. So you gonna say, it's so beautiful. He's over here stealing my words, y'all. Stealing something that I would say. Today, I just want to give a quick thank you to our sponsor, Brooklyn Bedding, which is uh, RVMattress.com. They uh, have been a huge supporter of our channel, so I thank you so much for supporting our channel. And I would have to say, you guys made it easy because you guys sent us a very luxurious mattress to try out. It's going on our fifth month. Uh, you guys on sleeping on this luxurious Aurora Lux mattress and I would have to say we really 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 enjoy it if you can and if you're looking for um, something that gives you great quality of sleep and if you're in an RV go to rvmattress.com and you will see that they have a lot of signature hybrid mattresses for you this is the Aurora Lux, but they have other mattresses and you can even customize your own mattress. And the only thing you have to do with customization is you pick the size, you pick the firmness, you pick the comfort uh, layers, and you also get to pick your top uh, fabric. This one is a cooling gel, but if you don't get hot flashes, you can go ahead and choose a different type of fabric that is more comfortable to you. Something else that they have, you guys. This is something I have not even seen or heard of. They have free shipping. They have a 10-year warranty. They have excellent customer service. And if you go to their website, they have an easy order process for you. And you get to pick the three different types of mattresses, which is soft, medium, and firm. So if you're in the market, and if you're looking, and if you're looking to replace that thin mattress that came with your RV, go check them out. They also have pillows, sheets, and I do suggest the bamboo cotton ones, and they have blankets, they have mattress protection for you, and you guys, you can even buy a mattress for your home if needed. So. Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding, for making this luxurious mattress and allowing us to showcase it for you. So guys, we have been enjoying this clam. We love this clam. First time really using it, and we are so glad that we brought it. We tried sitting outside. But the bugs was driving us crazy. So we said, hey, we got the clam up. So why not use the clam? Why not use the clam? But I have to tell you this, Talmadge will leave that part up right there, which allow bugs into it. So please zip it down to eliminate the bugs, right? Right. So we are at 
full glamping status right yes, now. Yes, we are. We got the fan going. Yep. We sitting back. We people watching. Yep. But check out our RV but site. We outside though. Yeah, we outside. We people watching. Yeah. A classes. This is a good way to get outside. Get your clam. Then you can sit outside and watch everything. But look at our site. <laughs> we are. We look like a real camping site. Like we like real professional campers. That's a professional look right there where you got the where you got the paddle boards up, you got the electric bikes going, you got the boat on the other side over there. We are living it up out here. Like I said, we got the fan going. Hey, check this out. Notice we, we're over, we're about close to 40 feet away from our RV. No cord is needed. No cord is needed because we got this power bank here. So I deal that. Let me show you this power bank, guys. See, that, this is why we always uh, talking about power banks because they, they, I mean, they come in handy. We got the, the Occitel power bank, 500 watts. This here has been running the fan for the, we've been out here for about a, what, a good 45 minutes to an hour. It has been running the fan let me take the fan out it has been running the fan for that long all right it's still on 90 percent 86 percent no that's 90 percent oh. it got 86 hours it can go 86 hours really yes okay wait wait, wait. show them the 90 percent though okay the 90 percent is on the is on the battery okay but anyway guys we got the we got four usb jacks on here all right um we got the usb c to charge your phone it charges your phone you can plug up like we had the fan plugged up the here. usb huh so that's the usb no this, this is no this is the usb this is usb c okay so what's the usb c uh, it, it's just another cord that way is used. to charge yeah. up okay yeah another way to charge up okay all right <clears throat> this here you can use it with solar panels you can use it with i mean you can charge with solar panels you can charge it um, there's multiple ways of charging up um, to you got to charge it in your truck, you know, or your car You can charge you can plug it up to a, um, you can plug it up in your RV or Or anywhere you want to plug it However, you want to charge it. But anyway, this here has been working great. We've been using it all weekend long We took it on the boat with us and we are satisfied with it and I like it because it's portable yeah it's not look at this just a handle and we we're on our way it probably weighs around 15 pounds you guys we mm -hmm. what we like to do is we like to charge up the uh portable um how uh power bank and then use it for a couple of days yeah so i finally put a full charge on it when i first got mm -hmm. it it didn't have a full charge on it but it lasted the entire day yeah um we actually ran the fan out off of it we've been sitting outside running the fan off of it charged it up fully now we're good but anyway we like these power banks because we can take them with us anytime we go on one of our little excursions or do anything like that hey that's our power right there, there that's go. our power right there charge up our phone get a full charge on our phone again i mean it's very nice so Shout out to Akitel for sending this power bank. Guys, if you're interested, the link will be in the description. I recommend power banks. That's one of the biggest things that we use when we are RVing, we use power banks. A lot of times we do not use our generator. We don't take the generator with us when we go on long trips. We take the power banks because we can run the TVs off the power bank. We can run, we can run the, um, we can run the TVs, we can run our fan off the power bank, we, and charge our phone up for a quick overnight stay at a rest area or truck stop. Check it out, check them out guys. Awesome. Let's plug this fan back up because it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Oh. 
check it out. Oh. So you guys, I am making the tzatziki sauce, which goes on the lamb. It is a combination of yogurt, um, lemon juice, I have dill, I have uh, garlic, and you want to make that actually 12 hours before you taste it. And um, I put it in a measuring cup and it will go over the lamb and it gives it a very nice taste. And then I went ahead and I made baked potato so we'll have lamb chops and a baked potato fully loaded baked potato right here i put there and I have the sour cream butter chives onion all that good stuff and it will be our campground meal so i hope you guys enjoyed your weekend i hope that you guys had fun just as much as we did. We thoroughly enjoyed our trip here at West Branch because it was more of a relaxation camping trip. And Talmadge started off cooking. Here he is coming out of the tent to go ahead and check on what the you food. Doing? food. He, he's checking on the food that he's can't that he's cooking, right? What you doing by it? <laughs> right? I told you, don't come over here messing up that and burning stuff up. Okay. I'm looking good. It's looking good? Yeah, don't come over here burning that now. Okay. Stop burning stuff up for it before it change. Let me cook today. Anyway, you like our paddle boards? No cool. comment. No cool comment. On, no comment on what he just. No, <laughs> no comment on what he just tried to portray he was doing. And no, we have not been on the paddle boards because it is me. I'm a little fearful. I don't know if you. Okay, I cannot swim, you guys. So this is kind of intimidating. That right there is a little intimidating. I'm trying it out for the first time because we are adventurous and that is our name, Adventure Bandits. And we have been sent these beautiful boards. We are here, we have finished our plate. We have uh, lamb chops, we have caprese salad, and a fully loaded baked potato. This is our dinner. And all I gotta say is bon appetit. This was a great camping meal for making the lamb chops, the potatoes, which had so much stuff on there. And the caprese, which is really simple, it's just cutting up the mozzarella cheese um some tomatoes and some basil and putting some balsamic uh on there and putting a little salt and pepper to it so you guys enjoy camping as much as you can and don't stress over the food make it easy peasy and this is an easy peasy meal